Catalogne, ça c'est pas peur. As soon as you get off the brakes, I tried to do it. They come in quickly, but get out of the car. Get out of the car. T'arrives, t'as envie de gagner. Just as we were saying with the warm up. Go ahead, turn on the wall. Now it's time to be there, really They always use Spa-Francorchamps for whatever reason as a testbed for Le Mans. In the olden days of LMP1, you would run your Le Mans package, your aero kit, at this track. It would be able to work here as well as it would do in Le Mans. Um, today, of course, in the hypercar, you have just one package. And that package is surely centered more around Le Mans. This is basically where I'm walking in the every morning. It's uh, called Le Bois de la Combe. What? Uh, Bois de la Combe. Bois de la Combe. It's like wood of the Kemba. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Mm. It's very similar to Denmark. Belgium and Denmark are actually quite yeah. uh, close. I mean, full of awesome people as well. <laughs> <laughs> so many healthy people running in the morning. Yeah, that's a bit too healthy, maybe. <sighs> Les Iron Dames dans, dans le peloton du, du Wake et des autres championnats auxquels on participe, c'est un équipage comme un autre. Maintenant, oui, voilà, c'est vrai, c'est des filles, euh, leurs voitures euh, leur voiture et leurs combis sont roses. On a conscience de l'impact que ça peut avoir, de l'importance que ça peut avoir pour la place des femmes en sport auto. Euh, mais voilà, on essaye de se concentrer avant tout sur faire des résultats parce qu'on sait que de toute façon, tout le reste va découler de là. Donc notre premier target, c'est être compétitive en piste. Well, I'm very happy I'm not taking the start in No, but that's crazy. I'm taking all the start. Back. I take the start in the mall. Are you, are you sure about that? Yeah. You've taken it. Yeah, that's what you mean. I, twice, I thought yeah. you were saying, like, I'm taking it. I want to take it. Again? Yes. And me? Yeah, I can. never took it. You can finish. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready to Shall go. Shall we go? Because uh, if ready. we're late. <laughs> Time to go, Michi. Je connais pas beaucoup d'autres sports qui, à un niveau international, peuvent avoir des hommes et des femmes qui se battent à armes égales. C'est hyper humain comme sport, c'est dans le partage. C'est ça qui est beau, c'est de voir un peu comment, grâce aux gens qu'on a autour de nous, grâce au fait qu'on est une équipe soudée, on peut euh, revenir encore plus fort. Quoi. Tu gardes la maison Mais je reviens dans pas longtemps cette fois-ci, je quitte même pas le pays. Hein Oui, ok. Because I'm supposed to film. <laughs> home sweet home. At least for her. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as these are getting connected and disconnected, then you could start in the VCU okay. set to let you know. Okay, coming. Il y a trop de boutons, hein. Pardon? Il y a trop de boutons. Trop de boutons. Mais une fois que tout est réglé, on n'a plus qu'à piloter. Ça va alors. Tout d'abord, il faut savoir le, les, les réglages, ce qui est. Ce qui sera difficile. Eh ouais. Hein. En n'ayant pas de temps. Comme nous. Non, non, Comme nous pour monter la voiture. <rire> Tout est nouveau, on ne connaît pas, mais ouais, voilà. Bravo. Michel. Michel. Oh, oh. <rire> Ouais, t'es les voir au Yeah, c'est ça. Wow. 
It's good. Whoa. Very good. Let's see it come back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Jota, brand new car for, for this race for them. And every lap that they turn in that thing is more data gathering. More data gathering equals more speed. Right, it's fine. Like, no roof, everything is okay, no puffing, just have a lift. No, fine, no problems. Having fun? Yeah, it's good. Thank you for your help doing it all right. Good job. Yeah, fine. we can run like that with no problems, it's super impressive. Man. Yeah, boys have done a good job. Super good, amazing. And you just cruise around. Yeah, you know I mean, we started the session full day, so it's 125 meters. So bear in mind, LMV2 is like 65, we've got double that. Yeah. And then, yeah, we just cruise around, then I never got a clear lap, so I don't think it'll be... No, I'm um, your sector one. It's... Yeah, and you're like, full lift, no rouge, like, yeah, it's big and easy, so... Um, <laughs> we'll just take it easy and then we'll... Good. Well it really goes to show that any top team in LMP2 more than deserves its place on the grid in the hypercar. So fantastic job by the, my old team at, at Jota. Uh, it wasn't easy. They didn't have the speed necessarily of the, of the works Porsches in the race, but um, I mean, what an uphill learning curve. And I'm sure what they learn from the amount of laps they were able to achieve here in Spa will put them in good stead for Le Mans. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. Good luck to 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 you. Good
Toyota. That is the number eight, eight Toyota. Toyota. Just now, as we were saying with the warm up. Guy on the wall. Yeah. I wasn't even pushing. I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay. Pit exit is now open. Session has been resumed. Additional pole for yeah. Kamu Kobayashi, big on the lever, and it goes down to second. No! Oh, what? He goes to pole! You're a P1, man. You're a P1. Oh, yes, man! Mate, good job. Thank you, mate. Oh. Kobayashi, Saldo Kobayashi, and Top three cars are uh, all in, uh, in three tenths. There's a uh, Ferrari did a um, two minutes point seven seven seven. You were to, uh, eight. It was really close. What do you think, guys? Grande, grande. Grande, 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 grande. Oh, hang on a minute. Was this on his fastest lap? He gained it. He didn't gain it, man. Yeah, this is the motorsport of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that last minute lap deletion, but track limit is a track limit. I don't speak to you anymore. Good. <laughs> You're all witnesses, huh? <laughs> for tomorrow, we don't anticipate rain but we do anticipate a drop of temperature in the air. If we have a safety car procedure, taking into consideration that the track will not be at ideal temperature, you will always be entitled to one lap at full speed within the safety car capacities. If I see that I've been too slow behind the safety car for a long period, then eventually I may stretch it to two laps. If my feeling is that one lap is not enough to bring you up to temperature, I may go for the second lap because I do not like to be accused of deploying safety cars after safety cars. In case of safety car very long, uh, if you decide to make two laps a little bit more faster, uh, the first of the two would be uh, much better if we can have more gap between the car because we, we bring temperature by braking and in the front is, is fine, but that creates big mistakes and big problems in the back. So don't be surprised if we maybe get a lot of space and then we, we group in the second lap. Your point is quite valid. Let me discuss it with my working group. The spa is special. The spa is quite temperamental. You are the end users, you are the ones out there running at 300 kilometers an hour. It's very important that we have your feedback and that we get what's happening on the track, okay? I wish you all the best. Keep it safe, make it safe, and I'll be a very happy man. Good luck to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Les Belges n'ont pas peur de la pluie pour, euh, pour venir chercher les, les autographes. Il se régale, il fait chaud. C'est le soleil, ouais. Olivier, il a mis de la crème. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. On va être deux cars sur le mont. Excellent. Yeah, so much luck to you guys. Yeah, we'll see Thanks. you guys. Morgan. 
So be aware that the race director, you know, he insists because of the cold conditions here in Spa-Francorchamps, when the safety car, you know, the procedure will end, the repairs will be done, the safety car will do at least one full lap, full speed to warm up the tires. Uh, we scored some uh, good points last race in Portimao. I think we can do better here. We have better position to start. And we, we are really counting on you. Uh, we know we can do it. We know the way to do it. Let's make it together. They want to do like a super soft, but that's not gonna last. No, I it's said mid, 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 soft, mid, mid soft. Yeah. Normal soft, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we can make the decision. Uh, Michael, you're gonna go probably with a mid soft, huh? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right, but it's cold the way it is, yeah. Comment c'est la piste En Bruxelles, t'as vu quand ça sèche, c'est vachement à l'extérieur. C'est ouais. mi-piste extérieur là où ça sèche. Tu comptes l'hôtesse, tu sais. Ouais. Mais la gauche d'après aussi, il faut. T'as vu, c'est mouillé, mouillé et après c'est sec ouais. généralement. Il faut tourner assez tôt, pas trop tourner tard. On est pas devant quoi. On n'est pas, pas au top. Moyen. Il y a un autre qui souffre aussi, hein Oui. Il voulait voler un peu plus vite. Toi. Counting the days. Until Until we are at the front. Ah, ok. One way or another. <laughs> I think uh, the back of the track is completely dry and it's pretty wet out here, so that makes it difficult, right? Perfect. Perfect condition for Spa. <laughs> they like it here, it happens all the time. Yeah. It's me, right? Frank and Vinci Zender. Frank, yeah. Frank and Vinci Zender. Interview for you. Say good things about me. I'm not gonna try and be too smart today, you know. We have to complete the race to be safe. At the moment, I'm not safe for the others. So. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Five minutes, no? Il reste combien de temps pour le choix des pneus Il reste combien de temps encore pour le choix des pneus 5 minutes 
what do we do with Mike Conway, the car seven car? Do we take that risk to start them on the slicks? And they're obviously looking around them, they see both Ferraris on wets, and you suddenly start thinking, this is gonna be tough. It's a safe choice, so it's okay, yeah? Only turn one and that's all. The lights go off, we are racing at Spa, Mike Conway on pole position in the number seven Toyota. We know he's on slicks and the cars behind are on wet weather tyres. Davidson, is that Toyota on slicks and doing a great job so. holding on? Yeah, I, I would say so. Oh, that's, yes. uh, the twitch yeah. just is the giveaway, and the Jota overtakes it around the outside up the Kenwell Strait. But if Conway, like I said, can just survive these first few laps. <laughs> moves up a spot he's now up to fourth place three wet shod cars in front going slower this is working very well for those who braved it out on slicks but if it rains now they'll go from hero to zero and those who chose wet will come back into it it's not raining at the moment and the Porsche moves up and the inevitable comes Mike Conway takes the lead of the race away from the 51 Ferrari of Antonio Giovinazzi. I think the start of the race was all about the gamble on who would be brave enough, maybe, to go on the slicks and who wanted to play it a bit safer on the wets. But what the number seven Toyota did, and Mike Conway in particular, was top class. To see how he how he approached the start of that race, we saw what other cars were doing, spinning, going off. He really dealt with it well, and it really shows what class Mike Conway has as a driver. <laughs> battle being passed by the Porsche and Toyota battle for fourth place. But this guy in the Porsche completely mad. He's fighting for his life. Completely mad that guy. Yeah, copy that mate, long race, Christensen had. Completely crazy this guy. It's called motor racing, Seb. They don't just roll over to have their tummy tickled because you're in a Toyota. So Christensen driving like a GT racing champion, which he is. <laughs> of Tomonobu Fuji leaning for the lead on Sara Bovi. That's not 
That is not acceptable. I think the stewards will have a good long look at that. This could have gone very wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it's not okay what he did. It would have been very bad. Yeah, you think so? Yes. I was in the car, I noticed. They filmed it. So. Yeah. And there is movement getting, and he's setting up golf. Thank goodness. Yep. But look up and watch that and you're like, yeah. get out of the car. Get out of the car. Right. I want to hear your voice. Get out of the car. Mate, never turn right. Looks like you're just locked up straight away. Because, I mean, do you see the sparks? Yeah, the sparks is offline. It's just because you're going so hard in the compression. It's offline, it's bumpier on the, on the offline. You never turn right. Going into the garage, again, it's always difficult. And I could see Sebastian Bourdais at the back of the garage, and I could see he was okay to go and approach him. But that team have been through a lot to get here, for one. They've got a lot to deal with coming from IMSA rules and knowing how that all works to coming over to WEC. And now for this to happen, you could see how much it affected them and how much it hurt them. And he actually did say that, you know, they're running out of parts. They've got a car in America. They've got not much left here and we're going into Le Mans. I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh, he's being goofy, but that's... Complained about this. Okay. That was a big hit. And then, rotational. All right. Didn't see that one coming. No, I know. You'll be all right. Yeah. The ones in June, we'll get that one. Yeah. You heard him talking about power steering, maybe not feeling quite right. Did it lock out? Did it saturate in its uh, delivery of uh, assistance through there? We've seen it happen in the past in, in, in LMP1 days. Um, I think it was actually Fittipaldi in the Dragon Speed where this happened to. And, and that ended up in a massive crash as well on the same part of the track. So glad to see Rengo walk away from that one. It is a corner that's going to definitely bite if you get it wrong or if something does go wrong and leaves you as a passenger. Trouble for Porsche, number six car from third place, stationary in the track. What's happened there? It's still on the exit of the bus stop. No lights, no movement. Lawrence, do you hear me? Radio check, radio check. Lawrence, do you hear me? Power cycle, we have no telemetry. Power cycle. Oui, ça peut le faire, mais... 
Radio check, radio check. You think it killed the main? Yes, yeah, it, it kills the main, so it kills the whole car and it goes neutral. I think it. Yeah, but there's no way to communicate. Yes, it's the only stop finish. It's down there. 10 meters away from the car, he's out there. He doesn't have to, it's on the windscreen. Yeah, how do we tell? Yeah, we, tell. we have to go there. Yeah, yeah. 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 there's a the tunnel. Dark. Uh, dump on the yellow and turn it. But he's already walked. Oh, f they say maybe it's a switch? Battery switch, I think. Maybe the battery got disconnected. Everything was well. Yeah. Well, you drove well, bro. Yeah. Es war alles weg, ich habe hier alles, alles gemacht, was ich gesehen habe, aber ging nichts. Wir analysieren. Look again, he runs offline. Watch the front. Oh, in the air, that would have been a heart in the mouth moment. But here comes the move. Lila Wadu up the inside into Lecom, 19 years old. She grabs the lead of the race. Another standout performance. She was exceptional in Portimao. She's been sensational here again. Oh, my goodness. And that is the van wall, a big impact for Jacques Villeneuve. Safety car again. Contact with the 54 Ferrari. So Alex, the guys for position are Molina in front of you. And then we have Pagini behind you. And then the Jota Porsche, but he will have to stop. Okay. Critical moment coming up here. The battle for third. The two Ferraris, the Cadillac and the Porsche. And in there, car number seven, that's your race leader, Jose Maria Lopez. They are just about to put themselves back on the lead lap. So the Toyota is saving fuel, trying to avoid an extra splash at the end of the race. For those who started on wet tyres, and you're looking at them here, it is imperative to get back onto the lead lap to be ahead of the number seven Toyota. And then if there's a safety car, they have the chance to close in on the back of the lead Toyota duo. Dan Cameron locks up a little bit. Alex Lynn on the inside, through he goes. Here comes the Ferrari, Alessandro Pierguidi on the outside. Alex Lynn has lost the corner before he even gets on the brakes. That's, that's 50, that's Antonio Fuoco out to the pits. That's on the run down to Eau Rouge. I think the the amount of um, chaos in this race really was sparked by the cold temperatures. 
And uh, I know we're here in Spa and you say, well, yeah, of course there are cold temperatures in Spa, but the fact that we have no tire warmers now this year really highlighted what a challenge it is for the drivers and the teams to get those tires into the right working range as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, Spa is also a circuit that pushes you to naturally run harder compounds. And we saw the Ferraris running on the hard compound for the majority of the race when they're on the slicks. And they obviously they're gonna suffer even more in the warm-up process. So um, it, it's just the combination uh, of, of all of those elements, those factors, pushed them into a place that was very uncomfortable. LMP2 has just been sensational here all the way through the race at Spa. Look at this, this is the top four together. Two Prima cars, one from WRT, the blue car from United, into Europol have led as well. One lap you go fast and then you drop off a fucking cliff, exactly. which I did actually. I you dropped a bit? Well, because I, I pushed after the safety car, but the tires were cold, so I just gained so much grain in that. Uh... When he pushed with right on the grass, uh, half score. Why did we drop so much? Yeah, Thread, that's thread. what I'm just thinking about. We had a slow pit stop for a number of reasons. We lost the and, car uh, and stop also. We fueled all the other space. Brendan Hartley leaves the pit lane. Here comes Kamui Kobayashi. Up to speed on his tyres, Hartley stays within the white lines, coming out very slowly on the cold tyres. Is he going to win this battle? Can he stay in front? Kobayashi coming with a big head of steam. And Kobayashi way out wide. Illegal pass from Kamui Kobayashi. You cannot do that. Collado's coming, yeah? Makoweke. Makoweke. Collado. How many laps do if we keep doing this, we catch him. It's the last lap. It is the last time around Spa and around the outside. James Collado sneaks into third. That's astonishing stuff from Collado. Well, you guys were fast now, so... Well deserved. Yeah, it was considering yesterday to be one tour. Yeah, you guys come back. Uh, James, that was a heroic effort. P3, man. We owe you a lot for that. I thought I was lying to you when I told you we could catch him. Ah. Well done, guys. Well done. You deserve that. <laughs> Lilu Wadu being the first female driver to be on the top step of the podium in the FIA World Endurance Championship is incredible. However, what's also incredible is she's 19 years old. So take away her gender, it doesn't matter. She's an incredible driver, so young and so much ahead of her that I'm really excited to see how her career pans out. And the same with the Iron Dames again, for me, it's not about if they're male or female. They're putting in the times, they're being consistent, and they're showing us that they can do it time and time again. Wait, that was so stressful. Uh, I was stressed as well. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, yes. Really nice, really nice. Okay, guys. 
because uh, so tight game was like this. Man. I know, I know, I know. It was good you tried, you had a bit yeah. of margin, but yeah. then you had the four new, you were flying anyway. <laughs> But you started on the wet, no? Yeah. Oh, we had to, what do we do? But the medium... You can choose between the medium and the wet. Sorry, we choose the wet? Medium, I think. Toyota still leading the way. But I, what I take away from this event is that they're starting to claw away. They're starting to close in on Toyota. And a few chinks here and there out of the armor of Toyota. I see it in the lap times, I see it in the consistency of other teams out there. And the Ferrari looks like it's more comfortable here in Spa than the first two rounds we've had so far. If that translates even further into Le Mans, we've got a race in our hands. The start was a nightmare. I think you did a mega job by driving on a conditions that were really tricky. The tire decision was was correct. I think we had a proper pace for sure, not against the Aston and the Ferrari that looks really fast on um, these yeah. conditions on this track. Tough race. Yeah, tough race. Yeah, it was reasons. very difficult for everybody and the safety car for us was just criminal because it yeah. was a point that we lose almost one lap against the competitors. Thanks. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Le Mans. Let's go for Le Mans.